CIA officer in Havana reported feeling sick, his head pounding, and dizziness leaving him unsteady on his feet in December of 2016. Just a few days later, two more officers began to exhibit the same symptoms, and it wasn't long before dozens of Canadians and Americans joined them. By the end of 2018, 26 Americans and 13 Canadians had reported feeling ill, including loss of hearing, dizziness, nosebleeds, and difficulty concentrating. The odd thing was that all of these people claimed to have heard strange noises in their homes or hotel rooms before coming ill. Witnesses reported hearing a high-pitched noise or a sound beam directed at them. Some people mentioned marbles rolling across the floor as the sound. The cause of these symptoms, however, remains unknown. Even after doctors at the University of Pennsylvania examined some of the victims and discovered signs of concussive syndromes in the absence of actual head injuries. Many people suspected the Cuban government was to blame, but American investigators were skeptical. The CIA denied having any knowledge of any weapons capable of causing these symptoms, and the FBI found no evidence to support the theory that Cuban agents had placed secret listening devices too close together, causing feedback that harmed the diplomats' health. Even ultrasound, which is audible to humans, could not be ruled out as a potential cause. To further complicate matters, some of the victims' voices had been recorded, but the sounds on the recordings only added to the mystery. Two scientists who listened to the recordings claimed to hear lonely male crickets, which are notoriously loud, but they couldn't explain why the sounds made people ill. But it wasn't just in Cuba where such incidents were occurring. In May 2018, an American consulate employee in Guangzhou, China, became ill with an unknown illness, affecting 15 Americans in total. Some speculated that the high levels of stress and anxiety experienced during these high-risk missions may have played a role. Diplomats were warned that they were being watched, with possible listening devices installed in their homes and on their cars, putting many people on high alert. Some U.S. officials say they still don't know much about Havana Syndrome after five years. Some people, however, disagree, stating that microwave evidence is set to be much stronger now, though it's still not formal proof. For the first time, new evidence is being collected and analyzed more thoroughly. In some of the cases this year, specific blood markers revealed that the brain did definitively experience injury. However, these markers vanish after a few days. People have seen these markers of brain injury for the first time because they're now being tested much more quickly after reporting their symptoms. There are still competing viewpoints, and the answer may be complicated. Some of the cases may be true, while others might be make-believe. Both the technology and the goal, according to officials, have evolved over time, potentially causing concern. Some are even concerned that one state may have profited from the activities of another. Whatever the reason, the consequences were obvious. The United States withdrew 60% of its diplomats from Cuba. A report from the National Academies of Sciences of the United States was a key event in December 2020. Experts interviewed scientists and doctors, as well as eight victims, to figure out what happened. Some of these people were literally hiding for fear of further calamity. To ensure their safety, they did have to take precautions. And after investigating psychological and other factors, the panel concluded that pulsed, high-energy, directed microwaves were most likely to blame in some of these cases. Despite the fact the study was funded by the State Department, the conclusion remains only a plausible theory, and officials claim they haven't found any additional evidence to support it. The Biden administration has shown its dedication to the cause. Officials from the CIA and the State Department are trained on how to handle situations such as getting off the X or fleeing a location where they believe they're being attacked. The State Department has established a task force to help employees deal with unexplainable health incidents. A new batch of cases arrived this year, some from Berlin and others from Vienna. Due to a reported incident at the Hanoi Embassy, U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris's trip to Vietnam in August was three hours delayed. Diplomats are now asking more questions before sending their families abroad because they are concerned. Strange noises heard by those affected could herald the start 
of a new type of Cold War with unknown weapons used to attack diplomats on foreign lands. Interestingly, the CIA is now in charge of the investigation, and the person in charge previously worked on the hunt for Osama bin Laden. These are Interesting Things with J.C.